right into it, shall we? Start the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. For anybody just joining, the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet is my quest to uh, collect and then stream a little bit of every North American PS2 game, at least all the ones that I can stream for one reason or another. There's a couple that I won't be able to, but I still plan on collecting them all, of course. And we are making pretty solid progress, actually. I have a uh, fair few more on the way. We are up to, well, if you include the ones that I have on the way, probably about close to 5% of the North American PlayStation 2 collection collected. Um, and then getting up to about 1% of them streamed. So we're slowly but surely making our way through this. And it's been a lot of fun. I've played some games that I probably never would have played otherwise. Uh, specifically, like, sports titles are the ones that I probably never would have played otherwise. Not a huge fan of sports games myself. But uh, some of them ended up being pretty good. You know, the NFL... What was that one called? The NFL sh Street NBA Ballers. There's there's a pretty, couple pretty decent ones, actually. And today we're playing another similar kind of sportsy type of game. ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Sporty, but you know, not kind of, not not classic sports though, if you will. Nate says it's not that I don't like them; they actually almost always look awesome to me. I just haven't gotten to play them a lot. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, I understand that. Uh, and that's one of the problems too with JRPGs in general. Uh, they tend to be very long games, right? A lot of them, so it can be difficult to get through them in a timely manner, for sure. Um, especially you know as we get older with our our busy lives and all that. Let's uh, check out the options real quick and whatnot. I always like to do that with games um, and see if they have like licensed music or anything. I'll probably want to turn that down a little bit. Music doesn't sound licensed from what I can tell so far, but I'd still like to turn it down just for uh, safety sake. Hey, it's got a progressive scan mode. Yeah, we'll definitely turn on progressive mode. Give it a second to switch over here. Maybe. I know my capture setup can handle progressive mode. Do I need to change a setting on my remote? Oh, nope. Oh, wait. Okay, that's weird. Why did that number call? Hold on. It's, uh... Output sampling, interpolation, scan line, vertical sync. That's weird. My setup definitely supports 480p. Maybe you can't do 480p over S video or something? I don't know. Let's try that one more time. If it still doesn't work, then we'll give up on it, but... Should have been able to. Yeah, I'm just getting a no signal. It maybe has something to do with S video on the PS2. I don't know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but would have been nice to have them nice, smooth 480p uh, <laughs> display. But, oh well, it's fine. Whatever, we'll accept, accept what we can get. Um, okay, nothing else really that seems to need to be messed with in here. Controller settings can say the same. Jukebox, I guess this is a decent way to see. Um, okay, so they, okay, yeah, there's definitely some copyright music. I mean, one of the first things there was from Cypress Hill. So let's go ahead and turn that music way down then. We don't want to... Don't want to mess with any of that. Let's go right into the single player. Don't have anybody else to play with, so... Creature and Enduro Waypoint Races? I don't know what that means, but cool. Be in any of 14 championships, a freestyle competition, your thing, check this out, or just race. Okay, I mean, let's just jump straight into the race. I thought maybe this would have a little bit more of like a story mode type of thing, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a racing game. Which, I mean, that's fine too, of course. Okay, so some things are locked. So how do we... Or wait. Short tracks. Huh. So do we have to, like, just beat races and that's how you unlock stuff? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Can pick different ATVs. Cool. I would like something fairly well balanced. Uh, all that stuff seems locked. Ooh, that's what we want right there. The B6000. Look at that baby. 
<laughs> uh, honestly, like the one that it starts us with seems pretty decent. I, am I willing to give up? Okay, so it's, it, it's not really like that any are better than the other per se. Because I mean like you just trade top speed for acceleration or loose for tight, soft for hard, etc. Oh wait, you can edit stats. Oh, so you just have to stay within the bar, but you can still... Uh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, I kind of like that system. Be able to change it around a little bit. We'll change our name. Oh, I don't like the keyboard, but... You know what, for a PS2 game, though, not too bad. I honestly, though, I'd prefer this to, like, when those stupid on-screen sc keyboards pop up. And then it's in alphabetical order instead of a normal whatever area of the world you're from keyboard layout is. I prefer this to that because that always just irritates me. Um, you know what number we got to be. It's just it's non-negotiable. I did not mean to hit back. Honda for the win. Hell yeah. I know very little about <laughs> ATVs and things. So I don't know if Honda is like a particularly good brand of atv or not but hey whatever works for me all right let's just race let's just get into it i don't i don't really care all that much about all of the customization stuff uh so we got stunts we got gas we got reverse so brake plus gas reverse circle and triangle or stunts you steer with the stick or the d-pad you can do stunt modifiers with l1 and you can pause pretty simple controls what have you been playing lately, Nate? Anything interesting? Obviously, other than the uh, PlayStation 2 gauntlet stuff that I've been playing, I've uh, gotten a lot into heavily into Skyrim lately with the uh, anniversary update that just came out. I've been playing a lot of that. A, a unmodded run is what I'm trying to do. That way, if for any reason I have to have to quit for one reason or another, I can actually come back to it without having to like try to re-download and update all my mods and everything like that. I mean, I do still have some mods, but it's like Sky UI and, and more HUD. Just, just quality of life stuff, nothing that actually changes the game. I don't know if there's any reason to do stunts in this game. Like, I, I see that I'm getting a score for it, but this is just a race, right? So, in theory, that shouldn't really matter. Pretty simple track for the first one, but we are in the amateur league at the moment, so can't expect too much. Point. Ah, oh, we biffed it. Get back up. And we were doing so well, too. Just going with Honda because of the car you drive? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, though, the Honda seemed like a pretty decent bike as well, though, in the uh, in the game here, or ATV, whatever you want to call it. Hey, that dude's got the same exact everything as me. Copycat. Uh. Seems like a big part of the game is trying to land as flat as possible. I also don't see why everybody's going to the outside edge. Is that just because they're amateurs? <laughs> You should always do turns on the inside edge. I don't know if we're going to win this first one. We were doing really good at first, but... Then they started to catch up on us here. Whenever we wrecked. I think I need to... We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. No. What? Third place. How are they gaining so much speed on them jumps? Are they just landing better than I am? It's the only thing I can think of. Haven't been playing much lately. On your laptop and Switch or on... Yeah, I haven't got to hop on Xbox lately. I was playing Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to play more of the Dragon Ball Xenoverse games myself. Wait, restart or quit? Do you have to get first place to continue? But uh, anyway, Xenoverse, I played a little bit of the first one, and but I never got around to beating it, so I, I really should do that. And then me and my brother, of course, we had a lot of fun playing multiplayer mode on Xenoverse. Uh, although he would get mad at me because I did a melee build, and so I would just get up extremely close and then just beat the tar out of him. 
and he was playing more like balanced key type build. And uh, if I wouldn't give him space to do his key attacks, he couldn't do a whole lot. <laughs> he, he didn't like it for some reason. I thought it was fun. I don't know. <laughs> and then you've been playing wild mods on Skyrim <laughs> and PC. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a ton of wild, fun ones. But with the Anniversary Edition, it already comes with, what, 70-some micro mod DLC things? So I've just been playing around with that, what it comes with. Uh, right before I hopped on here, I just got the... They did... They're adding new necromancy stuff. I don't know how much new necromancy stuff they're adding, but I, I think I found one of the new ones. Uh, there was, like, this coven of necromancers in one of the southernmost parts of the map. And I, I went down there, and uh, they were all dead. So I had to kill all the zombies that they had summoned that murdered them, basically. <laughs> and then, uh... And then... I was able to get the spell, and... Also found some lady that, like, her daughter was kidnapped or something, or... or I don't know. Or no, she was... She was arrested for your illegal necromancy in Riften, I think she said. That was it. So... I, I found her and freed her, because a, a group of spell swords had been holding her hostage. Did we get it that time? Okay. So we got first place that time. Does that mean we can go on to the next one? Broke some records. Cool, cool. We can still only restart or quit event, though. What is that? I'm so confused. <laughs> We'll try it one more time, but I beat it. I don't know what's going... Is this just, like, a single event thing, or...? You would think they would just have, like, a, a finish instead of a restart quit button, then. I don't know in this game if it uses the analog-ness of the face buttons, but I'm, like, really pressing down hard on the X button to get max acceleration. <laughs> It's kind of hurting my thumb, but I don't know for sure if this game uses that or not. I could read the manual, but I'm lazy. Maybe I had to do some tricks. Maybe that's why I'm not... I don't know. It's really good. You just got into level 90. Nice. And unlocked Super Saiyan Blue on Xenoverse. That's awesome, man. I didn't even know Xenoverse 2 had Super Saiyan Blue and all that. That's cool. Does it cover the entirety of uh, Dragon Ball Super, like that saga, or did they just add some of the transformations from the from the newest seasons? You got a bunch of quest mods and then a bunch of goof around stuff too on Skyrim. Yeah, I mean those are the those things are always fun to do, right? Download stupid stuff like Thomas the Tank Engine or or Randy Savage Dragons, you know? Download crap like that just for the fun of it. It's always a good time. Then I really like the quest mods and the stuff that adds new areas and whatnot. I'm just always iffy about downloading them because I, I, <laughs> I'm i worried I'm going to forget what's canon and what's not. Because <laughs> I'm really bad at that sort of thing. My memory's already piss poor. Plus, I still haven't actually beaten Skyrim yet, you know? So, yeah, there's kind of that, too, that I need to do at some point. <laughs> I saw there was a jump over there. That's cool, like a little shortcut. Okay, well, I mean, we won again. We didn't get the highest stun score, but... I guess we'll just quit a vent? Um, uh -huh. It goes up to showing beers and such. Awesome, okay. I need to pick that one up at some point. I, I really enjoy Dragon Ball Z games. All the way back from the... I mean, me and one of my cousins played some of the PlayStation 1 ones, or one of the PlayStation 1 ones. Like, it was fun, don't get me wrong. But... Oh... Okay, so yeah, these are just single races. Anyways, uh, but like, it wasn't great, in my opinion. But then, once the PS2 came out with the Budokai, and then the Budokai Tenkaichi games, those were all amazing. I, I loved them all, from what I can remember of them. Tons of fun playing both multiplayer and single player in those there. Uh, I guess championships would be the sort of story-ish modes. We'll try that. 
you're currently on track one of five points required to advance two. place required third so we can't get any lower than third place got it do we keep our custom rider stuff already yes we do good 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 i think i want a little bit higher acceleration if we're going to be jumping a bunch so i'm gonna although that's already pretty high on the acceleration to be honest yeah, honestly, I think we'll just leave it. We're just going to leave it. It's good enough. You also loved all the games on the PS2. Dragon Ball games on the PS2. Yes, for sure, man. Would you like to use your current settings to create a profile? Yes, create a profile on the memory card. I thought I already did this. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, all of them. All of them. Like, I can't think of a single bad... Dragon Ball Z game on the PS2. There was that other one, uh, what was it, Kakarot, which looked pretty cool on the PS4. I haven't gotten around to trying that one at all. Not Steam, Stream, S T R. I've heard good things about it. I, I remember watching the first couple hours of it played on YouTube, but then I never actually picked it up and tried it out. I definitely need to. Do you want to? It's weird, like, the, the X and circle buttons keep being switched back and forth. It's confusing. It's really confusing me. Like, normally it's X to select things, but then sometimes, like, with the memory card pop-up right there, it was circle to say yes instead of X. Weird. It's awesome. You mean the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is awesome? Yeah, I need to pick it up. I don't know what I want to get it on, though. If I want to get it on PC, console, Switch. Was it on Switch? Or was that PC, PS4, Xbox exclusive? I'm not sure. I find these days I really like playing a lot of games on the Switch, but I'm also in line to get one of the Steam decks whenever they come out, so I can basically use that like a Switch to be able to play games on the go. PC, Xbox, and PS4? Yeah, okay. I'll definitely be getting on PS on PC then. I mean, I'll probably get on PS4 eventually, because I, I plan on collecting. After I'm finished with PS2, I, I plan on collecting games for the other PlayStation consoles as well. So I'm sure I'll get it eventually, but on PS4. But in the meantime, yeah. PC, played on the Steam Deck on the go, and then of course on my PC while I'm here at home. So I still don't think there's any point to doing tricks, as far as I can tell. They should have done something like give you bonus acceleration or something for landing tricks. I don't know... Uh, it doesn't seem like they do, at least. But that's the sort of thing they did in Mario Kart, and it's one of the things that really make it, you know, fun. It gives a, a purpose to doing all the tricks and whatnot beyond just because they look cool. Same, you were bummed when it wasn't on Switch. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I get it. The Switch is just an awesome little console. A little underpowered, but it's mobile, and that... that that's awesome, you know, <laughs> like being able to take it whenever I go camping or to play on lunch break at work or whatever, which is why I'm really excited for the Steam Deck, because it can apparently play just about everything that... Ah, we shouldn't have done that. I, I wanted to try the jump. But anyways, can apparently play just about everything on PC, albeit at, you know, medium to low settings for, for some of the games, but still. And it's portable. So I can take it to work, I can take it camping. For for people that ride, you know, trains or planes all the time or whatever, you can take it on there with you. That's incredible. Like, what more could you want? Okay, I don't really think that was any faster. If anything, I'd say that was slower. But it's neat that it's in the game. Yeah, eat it, loser. <laughs> So I'm not sure that was a worthwhile uh, quote-unquote shortcut there, but now we know. Does the Steam Deck require an internet connection? Not to play the games. No, it's not a streaming thing. It, you know, you need the internet connection to download them and whatnot, of course, because it, it is just a computer, basically, a mobile PC. But once you have the games downloaded, you can take them and play them anywhere with or without internet connection. Continue. 
Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it would have been neat if it had like a uh, cartridge slot or something, right? A PC with physical game releases again. That would have been awesome. But no, it's a, it's a purely digital thing. And natively, it runs a version of Linux with uh, some special software and whatnot that allows Windows games to run on Linux, uh, called Proton specifically. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's running a custom version of Linux and uh, with like a, a Steam overlay. But it is possible to install Windows on it if you wanted to. And then from there, you can, you know, do all the normal things that you would with a Windows PC on it. I think it'll be great, man. I'm really excited for it. Because not only for, you know, PC gaming, but then also retro gaming with, like, uh, emulation and whatnot for games that you own. Install, like, RetroArch or something on it. And I have a pretty decent PlayStation 1 collection as well, for instance. I can take all of the, my PlayStation 1 games with me anywhere and just play them on the go like that. Uh, maybe even PS2. I, I don't know for sure if it'll be powerful enough to do PS2, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. So again, just, you know, awesome little machine. Really excited for it. And it, it's basically a Switch, like same form factor as the Switch and all that. I like this track a lot better. It's more varied. <laughs> right, we're turning right and left. Oh, Heck yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes, yes, Nate, it would be. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it'll run PS2 games. I, I can't say that for positive, but I'm pretty sure it will run PS2 games. Hey, so at that point, you'd be able to run GTA better than the Switch can. Because <laughs> the, uh, I don't know if you've, anybody's seen the news about it, but the GTA Trilogy remaster that came out for Switch... Uh, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox, all, you know, everything. Uh, not that great. There's some, some serious problems, not only with the remaster itself, but specifically the Switch version is just, like, it's pretty bad, man, to be honest. The frame rate is, is not good. It's very blurry and low resolution. A lot of the textures and models just aren't up to snuff, at least on the, the Switch version. The... Higher end consoles and PC version weren't that bad, although there were still frame pacing issues because it seems like they un they ported everything to the Unreal Engine but then didn't give it any sort of optimization at all is what I've been hearing. So it there's just, you know, random lag spikes and uh, it going from, you know, 60 FPS down to randomly down to like 40, 50 or whatever and it's just making it kind of jittery and... Then the, the rain effect that they used has, like, no velocity or anything. It's just a simple straight downpour of rain. So it looks very repetitive and just poorly done. And then it's so heavy that it can be hard to see anything that you're doing at times. And then there's some Z-layer issues where, like, if you look out into the ocean, all of the rain just mysteriously disappears. And the rain clips through different objects that it shouldn't, like, bridges and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's safe to say there's some issues with it. Now, hopefully some of it will be fixed. And if anybody is thinking of picking it up, I wouldn't suggest it for the for the Switch. And sadly, it's not even available for PC right now because they put it up for PC, people were playing it, and then it went down because of the Rockstar Game Launcher, the only platform that it was on, was having issues. So that went down, and then while that was down, they took the game off sale because of some issues with the game and they still haven't gotten it back up from what I've heard so you can't even buy it on PC at the moment and if you had bought it you couldn't play it for like 11 hours because of their stupid service being down it was kind of ridiculous Rockstar really screwed this up they should have just released it on Steam or I mean I think a lot of people know at this point I'm not a huge fan of the epic game launcher but even that would have been better than putting it on their own store if their own store is going to be this broken, you know? Okay, these little jumps are really screwing me here. I can't build up no speed. With all these constant little hops.
I'd love to do, like, ATV racing or something in real life, man. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Although, first jump I hit, I'd probably get scared shitless. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> You got a surprising amount of traction on these these dirt tracks, roads, whatever you want to call it. I kind of <laughs> kind of wish I could just like reach over and kick the dudes. What was that game, Off Road Fury? I think that was it, where you could you were like racing down a, a road or whatever, and you could use chains and fists and crap like that to to smack people off their bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Going a little bit better this time. You really need to land cleanly to hold as much momentum as possible and to keep getting that acceleration. Man, my thumb is hurting though because I'm just like jamming down on the button. Yeah, I don't know if that's even necessary on this game or not, but... I feel like it probably is, and I'm scared to let up. Something a lot of people didn't know or just forgot about the PS2 was the fact that it even had the analog face buttons. So, you know, there's that trope of, like, people pressing buttons harder or whatever. Like, it'll make a difference. Like, it's just the... the like, where you... The same sort of thing like with people leaning into turns on, on racing games and stuff like that. You know, just a way to poke fun at people, kind of. Well, at least on the PS2 and I believe the PS3, that was actually a real thing. <laughs> like, the, the the pressing your buttons harder to, to go faster. Or some games would have you do, like, power moves or something if you would press the game, the X button, square button, or whatever harder. Yeah, it had uh, 256 different uh, pressure levels that it could detect. It's crazy. They took it out of the newer controllers. I, I believe the PS4 is when they started taking it out. Uh, mostly because there weren't that many games that were using the feature. As well as, I imagine, with all the other tech that they were putting into it, it was probably also just a way to like save some cost. Because by then they started doing the motion controls. And... Ah, no, come on. We were doing so good. Yeah, they threw in, like, the motion controls, the lights, all that other BS, I imagine. Ah, I thought maybe we could go through it. That was a bad choice. I shouldn't have done that. What, what place were we in? We're in fourth place now? Holy crap. So maybe for the jumps, it would actually be smarter to kind of let up a little bit? No. I don't know. Man. Come on. Come on, baby. Pick up the pace. Let's go. My thumb is killing me. I'm gonna. I'm not going to press it so hard. I'm going to start pressing it more gently. Hopefully it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're off track. Shit. Is there a restart race? Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to restart that one. There's no way we were winning after all that. So, more of the story. Don't try to go off track. Didn't do us any favors. I feel like you probably could go off track there, though, and make it. It's just tight. And it's not worth screwing it up. I'm, it's not like I'm going for, for a championship here or something. I mean, I guess we are, kind of. But, you know, that's besides the point. Damn, how's that dude jumping so high? You must have really held a lot of speed through them jump sections. Oh, that looking back view is weird. We're going a little crazy here. Thanks for the boost, bro. Ah, uh, what? He landed on top of me. That's BS. I call a foul. Can we get can we get a a ref in here somewhere, please? The dude just threw his bike on top of me. I don't I don't think that's allowed. Shit. <laughs> we were doing so well. 
And now this. Sorry, right, we're only on lap two. We got time. We got time to catch up. I wonder if there's any rubber banding in this game. So if we pull back right before hitting the jumps, maybe we jump a little bit higher. I don't actually know that. But it felt pretty good when I was doing it. Ah, oh, that was a smooth jump right there. That was a real smooth jump. Turn. 125 feet jump. Hell yeah. Turning maybe a little too stiff. Get used to it though. It's not bad. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, get on the ground. Oh, turn. How'd that dude not wreck? I call BS. Now they all pass me too. Holy shit. Oh, don't tip. Yeah, take that, boy. What y'all get for landing on my head earlier? I've been in the mood to play some GTA lately, though. For real. I have one of them on PS2 now. But I was kind of waiting to play that one because I'm already playing, you know, Lord of the Rings as a, a long game that I'm actually playing through. And if I start playing GTA, I'm probably going to want to play through it entirely. That's, I also got Inu, Inuyasha, Jesus, I can't talk, In, Inuyasha, and the Secret of the Cursed Mask, I think is the one that I got. And I really want to play that game too, but it's another one that once I start playing it, I think I'm going to want to finally beat it. Because I played it a bit as a kid, but never got around to playing through it fully. But now that that's, you know, kind of my thing, I feel like I'll probably want to. But yeah, we're still going through Lord of the Rings, so... I looked more into what's being copywritten on Lord of the Rings on YouTube, and it's everything. <laughs> it's some of the visuals, but also a lot of the music. So I, I'm probably going to have to start turning down the music in, in that game there a bit. Not because I'm trying to get around the copyright so much, I just don't want any trouble. So far, at least, I've been pretty lucky. They're, they're not copyright striking, they're just copyright claiming, which is fine with me. They, they deserve to make some some money off of it. It's their property. And it's not like I'm monetizing anything on YouTube anyways. But I don't want to risk a copyright strike either. So I may end up turning down the music a little bit. I don't know how much of that will help. Especially since every once in a while there will be a visual that gets caught too. Because of the... Uh, oh, we're going to wreck. That was not even... We were going slow. That's bullshit. Final lap. Man, we were doing so good again, and then wrecked right in the final freaking lap. That turn always gets me, though. I don't see it coming, and then... I, oh, no. Uh, we're hitting these jumps bad, too. There we go. There we go. That's better. Catching up a little bit. And that one's a little iffy. If we can at least hold third place, we can continue on. But if we get behind third, then we have to retry. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought we were going to wreck. I got so scared there for a second. Oh, jeez. Come on, baby. Don't hit me. Yes, that dude wrecked, okay? We can hold on to at least second. Alright, we'll take second. That's fine. This is a nice, I'm sure. Don't get full meadow yet then, because it'll be the next on the full game list. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely another one full metal that I want to play through. Um... Resident Evil 4 is part of a pack of games that I'm getting here shortly. 
that one will probably be on my full game list. Even though, if you saw the podcast, it was far from my favorite Resident Evil game. But I still really want to, you know, play through it because I really like Resident Evil games. And I want to beat them all at some point. So, yeah. Man, they're just starting me like already falling off the hillside over here. What the hell? Can we actually go up there? Oh, man. We're going to have to come back to this map. I don't know what this map's called. But we need to come back to this map and see if we can go up on that building there and, and go around the track like that. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so this one's got like mud that we need to try to jump over if we want to maintain max speed. Cool little elements like that I really enjoy. Really, the only thing so far that I wish they would have done different is give you more of a reason to do the tricks. Which, maybe there is and I just don't know about it. It's possible, but as far as I can tell, it's just for score. And at least in the main game mode here, the score doesn't seem to matter at all. It's just a race, so... Maybe the score has to do with how you unlock other stuff, though? That makes sense. Other bikes and things. I'm glad all of the maps aren't as simple as the first one that we did was. That these ones here are much more varied. Both in landscape and in setting. That was only one lap. Wow. It's a big course. I really want to go up there, but I don't want to have to restart the race either. <laughs> yeah, dodge that mud. A couple of them guys are way back there now. Try to hop over it as much as possible. Because that slows you down like crazy. I'm still a little bit surprised by how much traction you have here with these bikes. I would have thought it would have been sliding around a bit more, but... I guess we just have some really good tires on here, man. Big drop. I wonder if... What, loosening the suspension would help a little bit with the bounciness of these courses? Because, yeah, if, it, if it's more loose, then it'll absorb the landings a little bit better and we won't bounce around, right? I think that's the way it works. If you can't tell, I'm not a car guy. <laughs> I know the basics, but... I'm pretty sure that's what loosening the suspension would do. Oh, we're going right in the mud. Nah, okay, we've mostly made it over it. I wonder if there's any penalty for going off the track. I'm curious to see what the speed runs are like, if, if there are speed runs of these games. So it'd be pretty interesting to see if people just do crazy stuff. Going over these these hills and these jumps and crap. Making their own shortcuts. I feel like we need... I can't decide like if we need more acceleration or more max speed, right? Because we're hitting our max speed a fair bit, but then in sections where we're jumping around a lot... We, we really need that acceleration to to get us back up to speed as quickly as possible. Like right there, you know? And here. So I feel like maybe just being in the middle would kind of be the best, to be honest. Eh, 
Hey, what's up, Caxips? I have no idea how to say your name. I, I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like maybe once you learn the tracks, it would be best to kind of switch up your bike in between each track. But to be honest, I'm not even sure if you can do that. I have to check once we finish up this race if that's possible or not. We'll be on lap four. Long track. Yeah, other than, uh, other than this, though, I haven't been playing a whole lot of stuff other than the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet stuff. Just Skyrim, really, lately. Trying to make my way through these games here. I don't know. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably doing the, the podcast, the Just One More Level podcast with my co-host, Jonathan. But then the day after that, I have another stream scheduled for this here. I don't know what game I'm going to play for that just yet. I was thinking of maybe just doing, like, Call of Duty or something. Just another one of the games that, you know, are fun that I'm interested in, but that I don't see myself sitting down and playing through the entire thing anytime too soon. And, like, at least until I finish Lord of the Rings, I, I just don't want to get into too many games like that. Oh, final lap, and then we go off. Nice. Shit, man. It's alright, we got this. That only put us back one space, though. Some of these guys are really far behind. As long as we can keep uh, better than third, we'll be able to progress. But really, we're only behind, what, half a second? So we might even be able to... Might still be able to take first if we're lucky. It's that guy with the same exact bike and everything that we have. <laughs> I guess just in the amateur league here, there's not that many choices. <laughs> can, we, can we push him off? That, we probably could have, but I was too scared to screw myself over by trying to do that. My luck, I would be the one that ends up going over the edge, not him. Oh, what? How did he jump like that? Holy crap. And I flipped. All right, well. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we're still in second somehow. I don't know how the hell we're still in second, but we are. I'll take it. Just gotta keep it going. Coming up on the end here. Okay. That was a little rough there on the turn. Dude, are we going to take first? Are we going to do it? I have no idea how the hell that happened. <laughs> After wrecking multiple times there on the last lap. That's insane. Stunt score, zero. I don't see the point in stunts, so... I just haven't been doing them. <laughs> Okay, so you can change your ATV and rider in between each track. So if you actually knew the individual levels, you could probably change your bike just for that level. Like, you would know how much acceleration you need based on how many jumps there are, how many straight sections there are for max speed, how soft or hard you'd want your suspension to be, etc., etc. I, of course, do not. First time playing through the game and all, so... Or playing the game at all. While we're on this loading screen here, for anybody just joining, whether on Twitch or YouTube, watching the VOD later on, this is part of my PlayStation 2 gauntlet. I am attempting to collect and then stream every PlayStation 2 game that uh, that you that you can <laughs> stream on Twitch. There's some banned games and some, you know, games with heavily copywritten content that are a little questionable. Could technically stream those ones, but would have to basically mute it, so I, I just don't know if it's worth it. So we'll probably end up skipping those ones, but I guess we'll we'll get to that once we get to that. But in the meantime, I've been streaming just a bunch of different things. Right now, I am streaming ATV Off-Road Fury 2, as you can see. Recently, I've also done Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. I'm actually attempting to play through that game entirely because I had a lot of fun with it, and the stream seemed to enjoy that one a bit as well. I also did uh, Eternal Ring. I always want to call it... 
Outer Ring or, or something along those lines. I think it's because of the new From Software game, Elden Ring. I kind of always get it confused with that. And it just so happens to be a From Software game. But, you know, one of their older ones back on the PS2 when they were doing first person stuff instead of the third person action games that they're so well known for now, like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, stuff like that. Uh, that was another one that I had a lot of fun with. And then I've also been doing a lot of sports titles just because I'm trying to get through those ones. At least uh, the ones that I that I already own. From the sports catalog on PS2, which is fairly large. I mean, a lot of different sports games and a lot of them did yearly releases. So yeah, a lot of games to get through there. But I am mostly through my personal collection of sports games at this point. So trying to do some of the stuff that I'm a little more interested in. So one of the reasons why I selected this game today was because of that. It's a uh, sports like, but you know, a little bit more arcadey, a little bit more fun for me personally than playing something like American football or baseball. Although I had a lot of fun playing NBA Ballers the other night. That was actually pretty cool. The the one-on-one -on -one with all of the the different jukes. I really like the the controls of that game as well. I feel like it was much more intuitive than what the other basketball game that I played, uh, NBA Live 2004. I feel like it was a much more intuitive game, the way you juked with the right stick, uh, and then just you did all your shots with the, I think it was circle button or whatever. Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot more than I did NBA Live 2004. It's one that I actually wouldn't mind going back to, and as far as sports games goes, that's pretty much the highest praise I can give, <laughs> you know, besides like your Tony Hawks and whatnot, because Tony Hawks Pro Skater, that's just masterpiece of a game right there. Although the first one, actually, I, I finished Tony Hawks Pro Skater 1 on the PlayStation 1 not too long ago, uh, maybe about a year ago at this point. Anyways, it uh, it had some moments that were a little, a little infuriating, right? <laughs> just some of the challenges were pretty hard for me at least. I'm sure there's people out there that can do those score attacks and things no problem, but I definitely struggled with them. Man, okay, they these guys are catching up on me here. It's a very jumpy course. I feel like I'm not hitting the jumps too optimally, which is not helping us out at all. I'm just not gaining the lead on the AI like I have on some of the other tracks here and this may be the last one in the championship i think there may be one more course but i think this may be it once we finish up this one i may see if we have any of the higher tier like the the pro ones available or something like that i don't know if that what all that changes if it changes your bike selection and everything or if it's just the enemy ai oh i say enemy but you know the other racer ai is all it really changes i'm not sure Oh, man. See, that section right there. Look how much everybody caught up on us. We went from first all the way down to fourth just from that section with all those little jumps. But at least we're taking our spot back fairly quickly after we get through it. Which makes me wonder if it has less to do with how I'm hitting the jumps and more to do with just those guys have more acceleration on their bikes. And I have more top speed. Although, our bike has a fairly high acceleration rate, if I remember correctly. So, I don't know. It's probably a mix of the two, to be honest. I could probably use a little bit more acceleration for, for really bumpy tracks, and the AI probably is hitting the jumps better than I am, landing more smoothly. Don't land on me, please. I keep waiting for these blockades or whatever the hell those things are called to come down and just wreck us entirely. All right, well, we wrecked that guy. I didn't even mean to. It kind of slowed us down a little bit, but I guess it also got him. 
put back a spot or two, which makes it a little bit easier for us to hold our position here. In second, I'm pretty sure taking second even would be fine, and we would still win the championship, because we'll have more points overall, if I'm not mistaken. Although, maybe, just maybe, if we don't mess up on the last couple of turns here, we can take first. Yeah, there we go. So was that it, or is there one more race? 29 to 16. I mean, at this point, we could take pretty much any position and still win, I believe. But you have to get a minimum of third, it said, to to continue. But yeah, that's it. You have won a gold trophy championship over. So fairly simple game here, it seems like. But the, the racing is fun. I like the way it controls. It actually feels pretty good. I just wish that there was more point to doing the score, the, the tricks, in the regular game mode. So there doesn't seem to be any real point to it other than, you know, to look cool or whatever. Which, nothing wrong with that, of course, but it's nice to... I like the arcade -y stuff. You know, like in Mario Kart, being able to do tricks and little hops for extra little boosts. You came in first place in the Amateur Nationals Championship on normal difficulty. You've earned a gold trophy and 500 profile points. So maybe it's the profile points that let us unlock more and more stuff. Maybe that's how that works. Oh, and there's a different trophy for expert and normal. That's nice. Gives you a reason to replay the individual championships, I suppose. Let's try a Supercross one. We haven't done any Supercross stuff at all. Uh... No, we want to do single player. I must have hit the wrong button, maybe. Pro Supercross. Normal difficulty. Oh, Pro Supercross is locked still. Okay. Championships. Select environment. Wait, what? Oh, that's freestyle. Okay, I was like, hold on a second. We definitely won a gold medal here. <laughs> Pro Nationals. I guess we can do that one next. Okay, Amateur Supercross. That one's unlocked. We'll do that. So I would like to try a Supercross mode out, see what that's all about. ATV. I mean, that one did us pretty well last time. I don't see any reason to change it. Start event, guys. Let's go. We're coming up on an hour here of the stream running, so we probably are going to take a real short break uh, once this one here loads in. We'll just pause for a second. I'm going to grab a drink, stretch for a moment. Um, we'll BS and chat while a ad or two runs. Get a look at the track here a little bit before it starts, though. Lame? You're lame, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Uh, we may actually have to finish this race from the looks of it. Yeah, okay. We have to finish this race, I guess, real quick. And then... <laughs> and then we'll take the short break. I don't want to pause after the race started. I'm surprised I can take those turns without breaking at all i also need to hit the snooze button so the auto ad doesn't play but i can't stop i don't want to pause it's all right i got this not nice to call your subscriber rude names it's not nice for my subscribers to call me rude names mr noodle <laughs> okay where's my mouse button snooze quick turn we got it we got it we did it it's okay everything's okay now we made it. <laughs> so, Supercross seems like it's basically the same thing, but in a stadium. <laughs> is that is that how that works? I mean, that's fine. Congratulations. Thank you. See, doesn't it feel nice to just be kind to Mr. Noodle instead of being mean to people? I just hope that with Supercross that we get enough variety in the levels, because the other ones, all the levels were very different. But with these ones all being laid out in a stadium, at least I'm assuming that's what it means by Supercross, I, I worry that they'll be a bit too samey. But I guess we'll find out when we get around to the next 
map here. Got a pretty significant lead built up here. As long as we don't lose it, I think we'll be okay. This map seems fairly simple. I don't think we're gonna screw up too badly. Although just by saying that, I probably curse myself into screwing up pretty badly, but... Let's hope not. Oh, Mr. Noodle, can you still hear me? Oh, crap. I hit the, hit the border there. Sorry, we still have a pretty significant lead to build up here, even with hitting that. Yeah, um, I got some lunch for, for myself whenever I was on my way home earlier, so there's a couple hot dogs in the fridge for you whenever you get home. I wanted to make sure to save you a couple. <laughs> you deserve it. After making all them treats last night. Mr. Noodle, by the way, for anybody that doesn't know, is actually my, my longtime girlfriend. She, uh, and last night she made what she calls potato chip clusters. A recipe that she found online. And, I mean, it's a pretty simple recipe. You basically melt down some chocolates of your choice or, or mix some chocolates or whatever you want. And then you just put some potato chips down in it. Make little little balls or little cookie-like shapes out of them. And then let it harden up. And, I mean, it's delicious, right? It's basically chocolate-covered potato chips, but more. I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, same sort of idea, though, as a chocolate-covered potato chip. And they are delicious. Simple and delicious. Great thing for the holidays. I personally like a little bit of sea salt or something sprinkled on top of them. I think a little bit of salted chocolate goes uh, goes really well with it. But Mr. Noodle, for whatever reason, prefers it without. <laughs> You're making more tonight? Are you making more of the potato chip clusters? Or are you making something else tonight? Like uh, some Oreo balls or something. Those are wonderful too. And we've got one hell of a lead build up here. And we are on the last lap, so just don't screw it up. And there we go. First place. Too easy. Because there's already salt in them. Yeah, I mean, there is on, like, the potato chips. But there's a fair bit of chocolate in it. I mean, you're going to share some pumpkin pie Oreo balls, though, right? They're not all going to be for the party. you got to make me at least one or two. And then one or two for yourself. Although, I guess you'll be eating some at the party, too. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Well, now that that's, uh, that race is over, we're going to go ahead and take our short break while I stretch, get a drink, all that stuff, and then uh, BS for a minute or two while we let a couple ads run so that we don't get auto ads in the middle of a race. And then we'll get right back to it. We're going to do probably another hour of this game because I'm pretty... I'm enjoying it. And then when we finish up that hour, we'll do Lord of the Rings The Third Age. You'll think about it, Mr. Noodle. You'll think about it. Well, I'd appreciate it if you did. Because, I mean, I don't know about the pumpkin pie at Oreo balls. I haven't tried those, obviously. But the other sweets that you make are usually pretty good. Maybe if I'm nice to you. When am I not nice to you? I'm always nice to you. You're the one threatening to not give me any of the sweet treats that you're making. Oh. I've been sitting down too much today. Between playing Skyrim and then playing this here. <laughs> Need to get up and move around a bit. You guess you'll share your pumpkin, what are they called? Pumpkin pie Oreo balls? Because I got hot dogs for you. Well, I mean, I think you should just because you love me, but that's fine too, I suppose. I guess that's a fair trade. 
We can do that. Total championship stats, we are at, what, seven points? Seven, four, two, one. So that must be the breakdown. First place gets seven. Second place gets four. Fair enough. Four, five, six, seven. And then... It's a weird point breakdown, I feel like. You get an extra point for every level that you get. So you start with zero, and then you get one, and then you get one extra point, and then you get two extra points, and then you get three extra points. Yeah, something like that. Do dishes, and you will for sure. Uh, the dishes are already done. Well, there's like two plates that wouldn't fit in the dishwasher, but everything else is already done. We only have a little tiny dishwasher, so <laughs> you can only fit so much in there at one time. But all right. I think that's enough of a break. I got stretched out. The auto ad thingy is satisfied. So let's continue. Try to finish up this championship. Excited to see what the next course will be like. So I'm hoping that it's able to keep some diversity in the tracks, even though we're, it's seemingly all uh, stuck in stadiums here for the Supercross events. Yeah, I haven't uh, taken the dishes out yet, Mr. Noodle, but I got them all loaded up at least and clean. Right before I started the stream, I checked to make sure everything was looking good. See, it needs stuff like in Mario Party, how you can time your, your start just right for a boost. It needs stuff like that. I mean, I, I understand that's not really, you know... In the spirit of ATV, that's a go-karting game at that point, but just little things like that add extra flavor to the game. Oh, we rode over those bumps like they were nothing. So the track itself is laid out fairly differently, but it's nowhere near the difference of just the regular events. I think I definitely prefer them. Although we're still only on the second race, you know, there's more to go. Maybe they'll do something significantly different for the third or fourth or whatever. Are they... I wonder if they're still making the ATV off-road games. I know there's at least a Fury 4. Because I've seen that pop up before. But I, I think it's another PS2 game? I think? So I don't know if they're still making these or not. I know nowadays there's like the monster... Um, motocross games, which presumably include ATVs as well as motorcycles and things. And then, is, is MX versus ATV, is that a different game series or is that the same monster game series? I'm not sure. Man, we built up one hell of a lead already. I don't know what it is about these courses that we just seem to be dominating for some reason. I mean, is the AI just really good at the off-road stuff and then <laughs> not so good at the Supercross events? I'm I'm not sure because we didn't change anything about our rider or or our personal skill level. You know, we haven't gotten that much better. basically the same as as when we were playing the last championship but we are what a quarter of the map ahead of second place we have a a 12 second lead yeah close to 13 second lead on second place that's crazy man and building like yeah we're already up to almost 15 so our lead's just getting longer you know what? I bet they are deaccelerating or braking for turns. <laughs> and I definitely am not. At least with these early game ATV, you do not have to. <laughs> like, you have a lot of grip on the ground. There is no braking necessary at all. But I wonder if the AI actually plays reasonably and <laughs> slows down a little bit for turns. I wonder if that's what's going on. 
Or maybe it's because they're doing tricks, trying to get all them that, that score there and wrecking as a result of that. That's what you get for showboating, man. Showing off. <laughs> fastest lap time, fastest five leap, leap, lap race time. Words are not my strong suit. Auto saving data. Anybody who doesn't know, I also do a podcast where myself and a co host try out some different games of all different types, whether they be classic games, new games, whatever. And then we play like an hour or two of them to get a good first impression of them and then decide if they're worth playing for just one more level. It was a way for both of us to kind of try some games that we wouldn't have tried otherwise, as well as just to see what in our backlog of games was worth playing and what wasn't. And we figured we would share it with everybody else out there in case they ever are curious about any of the games that we cover. It's been a lot of fun. We do it semi-weekly. We haven't been doing it as consistently lately because of other things that we've been working on. Uh, I've been working on streaming a little bit with, you know, the PS2 gauntlet and whatnot. And then us as a group, as a duo, we've been working on making a video game, actually. Um, haven't made a lot of progress on it lately, but we do have, like, some of the character stuff done. I, I'm a programmer, for anybody out there who doesn't know. Um, that's what I went to school for and uh, what I really enjoy doing. So I, I've got a lot of the code done for like movement and level transitions and things like that all, all, all done and figured out. So now we're working on like level design, world design is kind of what I'm working on while the artist continues to, to build up some of the art. We're still needing to do some stuff with uh, like combat mechanics. We haven't really worked on that yet. That's probably the biggest thing that I still need to program. But I wanted to get a couple levels to, to play around with first so that we could actually make use of any combat code. Um, regardless, though, it's coming along nicely. And hopefully someday relatively soon we'll be able to share some updates with you guys. Um, we're working on getting a little scene together that we want to share. Uh, like purely just art-wise. And then hopefully not too long after that we'll be able to share a little bit of a gameplay clip. And once there's actually some playable stuff, what we plan on doing is for anybody who, you know, really supports us, we want to get some sort of demo put up on our website just when we're podcast, podcasts with an S, uh, dot com. We want to get some sort of like demo or something set up on there so that people can, can, you know, try it out, give us some feedback, etc. Uh, so we're not doing so well at this one. With the first two maps, I was like, man, Supercross is super easy, isn't it? Well, uh, shit, it showed me wrong. It's not that much different, but it's much bumpier, and these turns... Like, there's a lot of jumps leading into the turns, I feel like. So it's a little bit harder to hit them in such a way... ...that we don't either go off track or end up flipping ourselves. And you can call me a nerd if you want, Mr. Noodle, but uh, you're the one that's with me, so... <laughs> eh, we're not gonna land too well. See, these little, like, bunny hops, I think, is what's really killing us. From, like, landing right on the front side of a hill like that. And then we just can't build up any speed, and see, that's when everybody's, like, really catching up to us. So I'm sure there's some way to hit that better. And then, yeah, landing sideways like that is not good for anybody. <laughs> so I probably need to slow down a little bit before that that specific turn. Or at least try not to jump so high. My nerd? Yes, I'm your nerd. <laughs> Are we in second place? There must have been a bunch of crashes right there or something. To be all the way up in second place. There we go. We're still taking first every time, though. We're catching up after... We're wrecking in the same spot, basically. Oh, no, this is bad. Wrecking basically in the same spot, because we never learn. 
But we're able to catch up by the end of it. Okay, and everybody else has fallen behind a fair bit now. It's just really me and the other guy. Let's just hope we can hold the lead a little bit better. That's a big if there. Ah, see right there. I don't know if I should try to slow down. I can't really get any more speed on it, I don't think. Maybe I could try to jump at a bit of a different angle. Ah, what? That dude just freaking smacked me with the back wheel of his ATV. That should be illegal. I want someone to watch the instant replay. Let me a flag that guy. Take five seconds off his time or something. Attempted murder, you know. Again! Again! Dude, you don't ride your bike on top of another dude's bike. I'm fairly certain that's not how the sport works. I mean, I admit this is my second championship, but... <laughs> I'm not pretending to be an expert, but I don't think you're allowed to just ride on top of another dude's bike like that. Oh, I'm kind of surprised we didn't wreck there. I was waiting for it. Okay, so... This jump here. I actually want to slow down a little bit for it to try to get a little bit more. That didn't really work out. See, how does that guy have so much speed coming out of it like that? Like, how are they making it clear to the top of that hill, you know? That's what I need to figure out. Oh, man, I really hope we at least... Even if we get third, I'll be happy enough. I just want to be able to continue on to the next one. I don't want to be forced to do this race again. All right, at least we didn't wreck on that turn that time. We learned something. <laughs> we'll take it. As long as nobody lands on our head again, we might be okay. Oh, no. Piece of shit, dude. I want that dude dock some points. Come on. BS, man. That's BS. All right, I guess we got to do this one again. If that dude wouldn't have landed on us right at the end, I think we would have been okay. Oh, and we're going to wreck right here. I, I can't get over the... <laughs> I can't get over it. There was nowhere for me to go back in. It was telling me to go back on the track. That's kind of hard when, you know, you're... Outside the, the bounding box. Like, you jumped outside the bounding box there. How did that dude wreck? Is there, like, a... a turbo button? Do we have NOS? I need to know how to hit these jumps like these guys are. Oh, and we messed that up again. Take that guy out real quick. Ain't nobody like him anyways. Breaks over. Gotta mute me now. Okay, well thank you for talking to me while you could, Mr. Noodle. Love ya. taking first place back now we just gotta learn to hold on to it I think again I think pulling back on the stick right before jump may make us jump a little bit higher so maybe instead of trying to to hit that jump like with less speed maybe I need to try to hit it with with more gusto you know get a big jump in there is it this one? I think it's this one. So we'll pull back. Uh, I mean, that was marginally better, maybe. But really, I think it's this one that's really screwing us. Yeah. See, as soon as we hit that hillside like that, we lose all momentum. And then everybody gets a chance to catch up on us. And I I'm positive there's a better way to hit it. I just don't know what it is. And like two or three of us just went out there. Ugh. I imagine that's why ATV racing isn't a bigger sport. Because there's got to be a lot of injuries, man. All these guys in open vehicles like this. Doing all these jumps and things in close quarters. Like, it's got to be a dangerous sport. Especially when you have people just landing on your head like that. <laughs> that can't be good for your neck, man. <laughs> And it seems like they try to avoid you sometimes, but then other times they just don't. 
I said, um, almost makes me wonder if it's like on purpose. <laughs> like they're trying to screw you up. Ah, boo. Boo is right. Like, look at that. All of them guys hit that so well, except for me. Well, maybe the one other yellow guy didn't. So maybe it is a bike problem. I can't tell who's in first place, though. Oh, no, that's another yellow bike guy. So, yeah, it's got to be something I'm doing wrong. I really hope we don't get below third again. I, I would like to finish up this championship at some point. Cut in front to take that lead real quick. And then can we hit this one? Nice. Maybe like taking the outside turn will hold more momentum going into it than, than cutting the corner like we usually do. That's the only other thing I can think of trying. Okay, it's not this one that we really struggle with here. This one's okay. Like, we don't hit it great. But we hit it well enough, and then maybe if we... Okay, I mean... That was a tiny bit better, I think. Just do that, but, but smoother. Come on, wreck. I was hoping that guy would go down, too, with the other one. More guys that go down, the better my placement. It's that simple. <laughs> oh, big bump. Sharp turn. We got this. We got this this time, man. No worries. Look at this. We're starting to gain a bit of a lead. We got two seconds on the next place, I think. Well, okay. Second and a half. Yes. Yes, I can, Nate. I can definitely do it. We gotta just not screw up. Not this jump. This jump's okay. Kind of. That wasn't great. But it's this next one here. We just gotta... Build up some speed. And that's nowhere near enough speed. Holy shit, dude. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they hit that so smooth to maintain all their momentum. But it's okay. At least everybody else is farther behind this time, so I don't really have to worry about them all suddenly catching up on me like they did last round. As long as nobody tries to murder me like they did last time, I, I think I think we're going to get at least second place. Maybe even first. First is looking very doable. Last jump. And first place. First place. Nice. So that's all first. So at this point, that's what, three races in. So we're at 21 points. So at this point, we could probably take second or third for the last two races. Or are there three more? There might be three more. Regardless, I don't think we have to get all first places to win the championship this time. Quick drink in while it's loading here. And a bite of my potato chip cluster. Trying the uh, semi-sweet chocolate this time. The only one I haven't tried from the batch that she made last night. Mm. Very good. Better cold. Because she doesn't like temper the chocolate or anything. They're very soft and melt very easily. Which, honestly, I kind of like. It just, like, melts in your mouth. But there is something about that satisfying snap of either either cold chocolate or properly tempered chocolate. I mean, look at that. Look how them guys jumped over that. Like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? I need you to teach me your ways. Oh, great, ATV Masters. Oh, we got a bridge this time? Very fun. Yeah, I definitely like the other game mode better, though, Nate. With the, the more natural tracks, instead of these ones that are in the stadiums here. I mean, these ones here are fun, but... 
having the uh, the more varied landscape and everything of the natural tracks is really nice. Okay, so three of us really pulled ahead of everybody else. Maybe it's the tricks. Maybe that's what lets them... No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe in this game, shifting your body weight around actually causes the the bike to travel further or something. I don't know, but no, it doesn't seem to have any bearing on it at all. Maybe it's a suspension setting. Who knows? I mean, obviously, we're not doing so bad, though. We've, we've gotten first place every race so far on the Supercross. Besides that one time, the one time that we don't talk about, it's not part of the official listing. There are... The official scorekeeping there, okay? That one was wiped from existence. I'm losing so much time in that section, man. It's insane. Then I almost instantly make it all up by just, you know, making sharp turns. Because <laughs> for some reason, these guys don't know what it means to drive on the inside corner. Like, how do you do that? Is it... I've tried de-accelerating right before a jump to see if I could ride down the next side, but it seems like it still wants to make you kind of go up in the air. So going slower doesn't seem like the, the right course of action here. But I'm definitely doing something wrong. Maybe it's that I'm not pressing the button hard enough because my thumb's getting worn out. That's probably what it is. <laughs> Gotta press the button hard if you want to go fast. Every gamer knows that. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. I didn't get as long of a jump as they did, but at least I kind of landed on the downhill portion so I could gain a little bit more momentum. So that's all that really matters. Ah, see, hitting that little bump right before that section really screwed me. And then, of course, having a guy ride my face, that kind of hurts, too, you know? Doesn't help while you're trying to race at all. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. You liked freestyle? If I have time to try freestyle out before the uh, timer's up here, I will definitely try it out. So that's just where you are going around but trying to get as many points during a lap as possible. Uh, I'm guessing. I don't actually know, but I'm assuming that's what the freestyle is. Right now, we just got to catch up, get at least third place here. If we don't get third, we'll be kicked out of the championship, I believe. Oh, Jesus, we're in fifth place now. Okay, well, there's some hope still. Yes. Come on. Man, see, like, how are these guys jumping so high? I think they have some illegal NOS tanks hooked up to their bikes. <laughs> I didn't see that option anywhere. All right. If I can break the rules to gain an advantage, I totally will. I'm not against it. Let's go. Shoot me up with that NOS, boy. Okay, we're halfway through. Good landing. Like it. Take it sharp. And big jump. Not big enough. Lost all momentum. Oh, shit. The finish line's right there. Man, come on. <laughs> oh. Is it going to let us continue or no? Oh, wait. Oh, it did let us continue. I thought if we got a third place, it would automatically kick us off. Yeah, whatever. We'll take our low score and just go on to the next race then. Whatever. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Oh, I see. In this one, place required to advance is just fifth. And there's... Six tracks instead of five. 
I should probably pay more attention to what it says on loading screens. Turns out there's some helpful hints there. That's kind of neat. Two different sides with slightly different track layouts there. My new longest jump was me being pushed along by some guy. Interesting. One of these guys' bikes sound like a freaking weed eater. There's no way you can jump like that, man. These guys are using hacks. They got a code breaker. Like, look at that. That dude just, uh, both of them, they just jumped over that entire section. Like, how? They got that, um, I don't remember exactly what the cheat was. But in Grand Theft Auto, man, the flying car cheat, that's what they're using. Right before they hit the jump, they just enable that real quick. <laughs> I don't really know if one side's better than the other here, but... Bleh. Come on. I think it's that little green bike that sounds like a... <laughs> I'm not positive, but I think it might be him. Okay, so none of us got a very good jump that time there. But they got a much nicer jump there. And then look at that jump. Like, there's no way. There's no way to do that. They got to be using some sort of hacks. <laughs> and I'm not sure if we lose this race. Because fourth place only got us one point. So that put us at 22. I don't remember what second place was at. Yeah, if we don't get, like, uh, uh, at least first or second here, I don't know if we'll be able to win. Well, if we get first place on the last one, even if we only get first or second, or, I'm sorry, if we don't get first or second here, I think we'll still be okay, but then we'll have to do well on the last race. Oh, man. That was a tough one. That guy just went way out of bounds there. Come on. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad. I just rode on the freaking wall. For some reason, I don't think that's uh, supposed to be allowed there. Man. I want to... I don't know. I feel like maybe I need to change my bike settings or something. It's just insane how well these guys are hitting these jumps. Okay, we're on the second to last lap. We're still doing okay, though. We're second place. So it's not like we're doing too bad. We're, we're gaining a lot on all the other sections. But the sections with the big jumps are really hurting us. See, I followed, like, the same path they did, yet I still landed way worse than they did. So they gotta be doing something. In that section there, I just didn't have the speed to even try to land as well as they did. But we had two guys wrecked, so that helps out a lot. Somehow two guys out of five wrecking, I'm still only in third place. But, you know. <laughs> the respawn system in this game seems pretty lenient, to be honest. Final lap. Oh, that was my fastest lap time, too, really? I mean, we did hit that one jump pretty reasonably. Oh, that was not... This is not good. <laughs> Swerving all the way back and forth across the uh, the play area there. I don't think it's good for anybody. Neither was riding that dude's face. My bad. Look, this is a very serious sport here, okay? Do anything to win. 
even if it means dropping a multiple hundreds of pound machine on top of your head while I'm still on top of it. Do we actually do we actually do that section okay? We're not gonna do this section okay though. Maybe I do just need to sacrifice more speed going into it. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I don't see them slowing down, but Maybe if we sacrifice some speed on the jump right before it, then we could hit the the jump with more speed and then land more smoothly. Oh, second. I didn't even realize that was the end of it, but second place. Okay, we'll take that. So that's four points for us, which still puts us way ahead. So the least we can get is zero points, which would leave us at 26. The most any other person can get is seven, which would put them max at 19. So no matter what, we won the championship here. As long as there's not, like, a sudden place above this level to, to continue. As long as it doesn't suddenly drop something like, excuse me, like that on us, then we are good to go. Yeah, nothing required to advance, so we are good. We won. Which I think will leave just enough time to try out a little bit of the freestyle mode. Of course, we're still going to finish this last race, but... Right, so that won't be all of the modes that we've tried, but we tried the championship, just the regular championship with the supercross, and then we'll try freestyle. And I mean, I don't know about freestyle yet, but so far the the regular championship is definitely my my favorite mode. I like those courses, the the variety in the courses much more than I do everything being in a stadium here. Although, I mean, like, because of the jump variety and whatnot, it's still, it doesn't feel like the same exact course every time, at least. So that's, that's nice, you know. That would really suck if it didn't feel different every time. Not bad, not bad. That actually went pretty smoothly. I think we stand a chance of winning this uh, race. Again, championship, that's one. We already know that. All right, got to get back in here. Took a huge speed loss there, though, going out of bounds like that. Doesn't seem like there's any real penalty for going out of bounds. Hey, Demon Lord, thank you for being here. You used to love these games. Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of fun so far. I just wish that it had some more, like, Mario Kart-esque elements to it. And I don't mean, like, the weapons and all that BS, right? Because then it wouldn't be ATV anymore. It'd be a, a kart racer. But, like, having, in the regular race mode, having some point to doing the tricks. Like, maybe giving you a little boosts for, for doing tricks on a jump or something like that. I wish I had something like that. And then, for some reason, I cannot figure out how some of these guys are basically flying over some of these jumps. I don't know what the hell they're doing that I'm not, but... Man, are they uh, hitting these jumps better than I am. Nah, you expect to see a blue shell flying up to me? <laughs> that would be sick, man. Honestly. Did this game come out for PC? Because if it did, we'll have to make that into a mod. ATV, Off-Road Fury, X. Freaking Blue Shell mod, man. Everybody gets one. It'll be chaos. <laughs> Speaking of mods, though, have you played any of Skyrim Anniversary Edition, Demon Lord? I know you're a huge Skyrim fan. But you're also a huge mod fan, and obviously there were some issues there. But I was reading that they've already figured out how to downgrade the game to the pre-anniversary edition build, but still keep all of the anniversary edition content. So that if you, if there were any essential mods that you wanted to play while still getting all of the new anniversary stuff, you could. It didn't break all of the mods. It only broke SKSE plugin mods. That's it. Everything else still works exactly the same as it has. Um, and SKSE has already fixed their plug-in stuff for the most part, but the mod authors will have to, to go back in and update. Um, 
to make it work with the new SKSE stuff. That's all the good mods. I'll be honest with you, there's almost no plug-in mods that I use. There's only two plug-in mods that I use that I can think of off the top of my head. That are, uh, that's more HUD and more HUD inventory edition. Everything else is just a regular, you know, just a regular mod. Even, like, e SKSE mods still work, of course. Even, it's just the ones that come with DLL files that are broken, that's it. And then, like I said, if there are actual, like, essential DLL file mods that you want to play, um, there is a there is a workaround to get them to work. You can use the old executable, essentially, but with all of the Anniversary Edition content. And how the hell did I just flip over that there? Yeah, I mean, you mod a lot more than I do, Demon Lord, so you would know more about the, the plug-in mods than I do, for sure. But I just know, like, me personally, there's there's very little plug-in mods that I actually use on Skyrim playthroughs. You've been putting it off till you get your VR treadmill? Yeah, that should be a lot of fun, man. I haven't tried Skyrim VR yet, but because, like, for me, it mostly has to do with getting motion sickness in VR is why I haven't. Do they have a teleport mode for Skyrim VR where you teleport around instead of walking around? But anyways, that's a, that's a little off track. Um, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> if I was actually like able to walk around on a VR treadmill or something like that, I don't think I'd get the motion sickness. So that'd be awesome. They do have a teleporting mode. Good, good, good. I have to try it out sometime. How much is uh, Skyrim VR? Like 20 bucks or something? Or is it a full price thing still? And speaking of modding, don't only like half the mods for Skyrim work on Skyrim VR? Full price, so like 50, 60 bucks, damn. I, I think they should have done like, um, what do you call it? Where you pay like an upgrade, like they did with Anniversary Edition. I think they should have done something like that. Like, pay 20 bucks if you already own the base game. Because it's essentially the same game, just, you know, VR. <laughs> Wait, Fallout 4 VR doesn't come with a DLC? Holy shit, I honestly didn't know that. That's crazy, man. Nope. Wow. So, is the DLC available? Like, you just had to pay for it again? All the DLC in Fallout 4 VR? All right, so freestyle. So we want to get as many points as possible, do the biggest jumps we can. Is there a time limit or a certain number of laps? How does that work? I have no clue. It's my first time trying freestyle. Oh, okay, you select your objective, so kind of like a... On Tony Hawk, you don't have to literally select it, but... But there's different objectives for each course. Let's try to uh, hit every green target, why not? You can just transfer the DLC over from your normal Fallout 4. Okay. That's not too, too bad, then. Is it also full price, though? Fallout 4 VR? I'm assuming it probably is. full price and then you have to have pay full price for the other game and then transfer all the DLC over. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yep, 59.99. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. Especially when when you consider games like uh, Phasmophobia or something, right? These little indie titles with with tiny little teams 
and they have VR modes added to their game and they charge nothing extra for it. Like it's just included as an option should you want to play that way. And then you have Bethesda, you know, a huge company making you pay 60 bucks for just a, an extra mode. That's crazy. Trying to find the last target. I have no idea where it's at. Is it the the white dot there? Are we getting closer to it? I have no idea where the last target is. It was right in the beginning and I missed it when I tried to jump up the hill, but I don't know where it's at now. Okay, if we just keep driving, surely we'll come across it eventually, right? Wait, okay, this section looks familiar. So maybe if we turn around and go backwards, maybe that's the trick. I figured it would be that white dot on the map, but I can't... Oh, oh, there's different camera. Oh, that's, that's weird. Oh, no, first person? Oh, no. Nope, can't do that. <laughs> What's worse is that Fallout 4 VR isn't even that polished compared to Skyrim, and that's saying something. Did... It, which one came out first? Wasn't it Fallout 4 VR that came out first, and then Skyrim VR came out second? Alright, we might just have to restart this one. Because I have no idea where this last target is. I Again, I assumed it was the little white dot, but... The white dot doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Yeah, Fallout came out first. I mean, I guess that means they just had some time to learn in between making the Fallout 1 and the Skyrim 1. But it would have been nice if they would have then went, like, back through and, you know, polished it up later. Since they learned more after doing it and then, then Skyrim. But I guess not. It goes to show you that it was probably all just a, uh, a money grab, you know. They just wanted some cash, saw a quick way to make it, and there you go. Oh, wait, are we getting closer? Hey, okay, so it was. It was just so far away that it never seemed to get closer even when we were driving in the right direction. All right. Got to build us some speed. Come on. Come on. Okay. How do we jump? Nope. Okay. We got 20 seconds left. Holy shit. How do you... How do you... <laughs> How do you get it? Oh, man. Mm. Let me have it, please. Lord almighty. I just want the stupid... We're out of time. I'm so mad right now. Now you think Skyrim only came out a couple of days, maybe a week after? Well, I don't know. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I don't know how to get this one. I can't jump that high. We'll go around, we'll get as much speed as we possibly can. Here we go. Man, see, it's... It's just like with the, uh, the normal game mode. There must be some sort of... Oh, you know what, maybe if I do a trick... Maybe, like, my body will be part of my hitbox. Come on! <laughs> I don't know how to do this. All right, just back straight up. Bump on that side, screw you over. So wait, you mean try the left side? Nope. Oh, you mean, you mean try jumping from back here like this? The problem then is that there is no like actual jump here. Oh, okay, I guess you can still just barely bump it. It worked. I got it. That's all I care about. Let's grab the other ones now. <laughs> Instantly wreck. Instantly wreck. After this, I think we're going to try one of the score attacks and then uh, probably go into Lord of the Rings. The Third Age. Because that is a surprisingly fun RPG game, although does not seem very well balanced at all. 
Like, you can just break that game if you want to. B-R-B. Okay. Take your time, man. I just appreciate you being here. Ah, uh, what? How did we miss that one? Sorry, we can come back and get it. Gives you plenty of time. Every target you collect gives you another 10 seconds. And with there being like 13 targets, yeah, it's plenty of time to collect all these things. So we'll just go back and grab it real quick. Maybe we can jump into it? No, <laughs> just completely jump over it, maybe. Hey, we did it, yay! We only suck a little bit. <laughs> all right, let's try, uh, let's just try the score stomp points. I'm sure we'll screw this up too, but. So we have two minutes to get at least 10,000 points. Oh, wait. Oh, it's triangle and circle. Shows you how little I did tricks here. So you get combos like in Tony Hawk. Don't know how I wrecked there. I thought we were good. Come on, and knack knack, patty whack, something, giving a dog a bone, you know? Okay, let's do that triangle to the right and then a circle to the right, or, what? We landed that. I call BS. Left, up, heel clicker. Combo times two. Bar hopping. Oh no, we're gonna biff it. Yep. I think we can get 10,000 at least. Hey, 6696. Six, <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of like 69, right? Build up some speed. Do a little. Okay, so you do get more points for holding the trick, but. I can't seem to land those jumps though. Every time I try one there, I just get screwed. It seems almost like it's better just to hold a trick than it is to try to do a... Try to do a uh, combo. And... Combo? Nope. No time. Hey, we actually landed. I didn't think we would. Oh, well, we got one objective at least. I don't think we're going to break any records anytime soon, but... You know. <laughs> so that's interesting. It's Tony Hawk-like, but definitely not as good, I'd say. But yeah, I think that's all we're going to do for ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Um, for everybody on YouTube, thank you for watching the VOD. But for everybody else on Twitch, we will be right back after a short break while I stretch and switch over games and everything. Is it moving? <laughs>